If you guys have been around for a while on my channel, you know that I've been covering Spellmints ever since they came out. I've given so many opinions on the system. I've actually praised it as being one of the systems in this game with the most potential. They could do so much with Spellmints. They could add them to so many different spells, give us so many different paths, and there's so many upgrade potentials with Spellmints that I don't feel like they've explored all of it yet. And it's just a system that they could expand on so much. Every school has a lot of spells and every new spell they add, they could also add spellments with it, give us different paths. So there's a lot of potential here, but King's Isle is just scratching the surface with it. And the reason that I was against spellments for so long is because of KI's implementation. It's just been garbage. They don't allow us to get the spellments in any reasonable, easy way. And they were only, truly, some of them were only available from packs. And they came out with Spellment packs and all this stuff. But yeah, I came out with this video that was called Wizard 101, but Spellments are actually good. And in that video, I described a way for KI to, just a suggestion for them to allow us to get Spellment drops as we level through worlds. And they actually implemented this. You can now go through all the worlds in the first arc and as you defeat certain bosses, you will get spellment drops. In the recent patch, they actually just buffed the amount of spellments that you get from these bosses. Though, keep in mind that you have to actually be within the level of that world. You can't be beyond it. So I couldn't take my level 140 storm and go back to Dragonspire or Mushu or whatever, farm the boss and get those spellments. You have to actually be in the world and not complete the next world. So I don't like the level banding of you have to be in that world and not complete the next world or start of the next world in order to farm these spellments. I don't like that, but I do like that they're taking the approach of, okay, as you level through the worlds, you're going to naturally collect these spellments and maybe at some point you'll be able to upgrade a spell or two. But for me, I'm on my 140 storm and I've never been able to get enough spellments to upgrade Thunder Snake, even to the second tier. I've never been able to upgrade lightning bats and these are my rank one and two spells. These should be easy. My rank one spell I should easily be able to rank up, right? It's only rank one, but it's never happened. The only spell I've ever upgraded is Sound of Musicology because I farmed that in Caramel. And they actually made that one obtainable. The other ones, I mean, there's even Triton. They have rank six spellment paths now. And I've never even looked at these yet, but yeah, there's some crazy stuff that they have going on here, but I mean, Farming Triton Spellaments, Stormzilla Spellaments, like, where am I going to get all these? So they've implemented a couple of ways. You can farm Loremaster, and Loremaster drops, like, all the Spellaments, I'm pretty sure. But the pool is going to be super big, and you're probably not going to get what you want. If you're the right level, you can farm bosses in certain worlds and get Spellaments that way. There's another way through Cantrips, but I'm not going to go over that because I haven't even done Cantrips yet, so I might just wait until I actually go through that and rank it up but you can open chests with your friends through cantrips the other way is through this pet or more specifically this talent the pet does have this talent first gen and i actually got it at teen so that's why it's my only talent but yeah elemental retriever this talent is locked when you get it so you have to unlock it it takes forever it took me so long to get this unlocked the hardest reagent is five elemental retriever tokens or something. And you have to farm the croc gauntlet, the doomsday croc gauntlet. Like I had to farm it like hundreds of times in order to unlock this. But once you do it, then you can unlock this and you can get spellments from it. So I'm in dragon spire because this is the highest world that will allow you to do this with this talent. Here's our first wooden chest. In order to open it, you have to use your pet. If you just went up to it and clicked X, you would not get the spellments, or at least you wouldn't get the max of, I think, eight. You can get up to eight spellments using this method. So you have to equip your pet with Elemental Retriever, and you have to have it unlocked. And then you go in and you click your pet, and it'll pop up. Okay, well, you have to have enough happiness, so I don't have enough happiness. <laughs> My pet is not happy enough to do this. You have to feed your pet enough to get 40 happiness. And once you have 40 happiness, then the elemental retriever button appears. And once you have that, you just click it and your pet will retrieve 
Free spillments. And we got Phoenix. We got rank five. Hydra's rank six. So elemental retriever, even though it only retrieves the elemental spellments, it will include balance in both elemental and spiritual. I think it's called spiritual retriever. I haven't seen spiritual retriever yet, but at least I had this one. I don't really care about spiritual. I only care about elemental, but I think they just came out with that one on a new pet. So yeah, we got how many there? We got, um, let me count. We got two, four, six, eight. We got eight spellments. So that's the max spellments that you can get from one wooden chest. And the downside, I don't think it'll show me the timer, but if I were to go up to another wooden chest, let me feed my pet enough snacks to get to 40. Okay, we're at 40. It doesn't show the timer. It, I don't know why it's so hidden, but it won't show it to me. We need to go over and find another wooden chest around here and it'll show you a timer. It's a 300 second timer. Thing to note about Elemental Retriever, you can self hatch with this. And then if you have another pet that gets it, it'll already be unlocked. So you won't have to re unlock Elemental Retriever. And then you can just trade the pet to another character and then switch characters during your cooldown and keep farming. Like, <laughs> Just keep spamming it. Use the 300 second intervals to go and, you know, I could probably just quit out and like come back in and get that same wooden chest. But yeah, you could just quit out, go on your other character, use their ele elemental retriever wherever you have wooden chests. Okay, finally I found another wooden chest. I just decided to go back into the labyrinth because it seems like it's the easiest way just to kind of continue to get wooden chests respawning. Because every time you quit out and come back into this dungeon, you could get more wooden chests. So, here's the next one. We should already be at the timer. Where is... Where's, like, the cutoff from last? Probably this. Two, four, six. Is that eight again? So, we got eight again. Pretty good. Because you get the goal at the end. So, yeah, another eight. We got two Colossus, which is a rank six spell. I've never even seen this spell before. Blighthound. Is there any new storm spells? Because they added Blighthound for ice. So that's a really good method for farming spellments. Elemental Retriever is a great talent now. I used to think it was a really bad talent because of the drop rates of spellments. And I don't even know if that worked before. Like, I don't think Elemental Retriever even would retrieve spellments before this update. But now it does, and you can get... I just got two wooden chests in a row with eight each. So that seems like it's pretty good. But yeah, that is one way to do it. So if you just kind of optimize that route, go into the labyrinth every time, then you'll get a good amount of spellments. Okay, so the next thing I want to test out is Loremaster. I want to see if Loremaster drops a good amount of spellments as well. So I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anyone that... I mean, people are always doing Loremaster, right? I think Digby is just soloing it. Why solo it when people are always farming this? Might as well just do team up. But yeah, people are always farming Loremaster. I want to see what kind of drops we can get in terms of spellments from this one. Like even max level wizards are going to be farming this all the time because Loremaster drops everything. I think she can drop all the spellments. I don't know how much though, so we'll see. But I feel like Elemental Retriever is going to be the best method. Especially if you have multiple pets on different wizards with that talent. It's got to be good. Like getting eight per wooden chest of just the elemental schools and balance. That seems really good. Of course, you would still have to farm it. But I mean, hey, this is the best method we've ever gotten so far for farming spell elements. See if we get anything here. We got one Athena. Which means Loremaster only drops the craftable spells, probably. So she only drops the spellments of the former drop spells that she had. Wow, I've 
when you go and team up, apparently you go into a popular realm. Yeah, we're literally in Ambrose. So hey, if you ever wanted people to <laughs> to farm with, then uh, Ambrose is the realm to go to for that. People are always here. Okay, let me put on the pet, which is right here. We'll see if we can find any wooden chest. Yep, there's the wooden chest spawn. So there's one spawn here and then there's one spawn that's like kind of over there a little bit more, like kind of around this area. There is one. Those are the two places that I saw that it spawned. Go ahead and you will have to use mega snacks for this. I mean, mega snacks are the easiest. You don't have to use mega snacks, but yeah, if you use like rank like seven, you only get 15 each. So you have to use multiple, but I have so many rank eights that I might as well use those. Get 25. That's actually enough for one. So yeah, you can just spam. Just spam your pet with whatever snacks you have. And then uh, elemental retriever. And we got, how many, eight? Let's see how many we got. Lightning bats and yeah, we got eight. So highly recommend farming in Dragon Spire with those wooden chests if you have this talent because I've gotten eight three times in a row. I got Triton, Kraken, Lightning Bats. How many Triton do I have? That's my first Triton. So it's going to be a long road to get to 75, but it's totally possible now. Like previously, this was nearly impossible to farm and get this many Spellments. So I might actually level up Thunder Snake and Lightning Bats someday. It's actually possible now. <laughs> Whereas in the past, it was just so difficult, but I still hope that they make it easier to obtain these. Like I still hope that they come out with other ways to farm these things because I wouldn't mind farming bosses for spell elements. They actually came out with a dev diary where they talked about allowing us to re fight certain bosses, rematch certain bosses that are a little bit more difficult, maybe like a more difficult Malister or whatever in order to get spellment drops. So if they do that, Hey, I mean, that's a good option as well. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple options on how to get spellments now since the update. I still think Kaya has a ways to go on spellments because I want to see more and more ways of getting these. Because if rank one spellment upgrades, like the first, I guess, second tier upgrades cost 75, then it still takes a long time in order to upgrade these. And then it doesn't stay 75 at rank three and four. It costs more than that. I think it doubles next one might be like 100 150 up to i don't know hundreds so <laughs> it still is going to take a while and i hope they come out with better ways of doing this faster ways maybe they could just reduce the amount of spellments that it costs in order to upgrade are they ever going to do that probably not i don't <laughs> i don't feel like that's something that they would do but yeah that is probably the best method to farm these so if you do that consistently you're bound to get a lot and hopefully you can upgrade your spells at least rank one through six spells seems like are the ones that you can upgrade right now not counting the craftable spells so keep that in mind so let me know what you guys think of that method if you think it's the best if you think the labyrinth is the best place to go to get the wooden chests but if you guys enjoyed it if it was helpful please leave a like on this video subscribe for more and i'll see you all next time